Hello there. Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> I gotta move this up. I gotta the camera, the camera. Oh no! It no, it's it's in the spot. Jade is just too tall. Yes. Yes. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. What is good? Today is Friday the 21st. Friday the 21st. Let's play some Dragon Quest 11, huh? Yo, the, the face on this man. Hold up. Look at this. <laughs> this is this is gift material if I ever saw it. Hold on, I gotta look at <laughs> look at his face. <laughs> what is oh man? He is feeling it. That's God tier. That's God tier. That's hilarious. Oh yeah, we need to go to the weapon shop. The old ship. The old weapon ship. Can I shop from behind? Ooh. Yo, loot and pillage. Damn, 3,000? A cannon? Let's go. I don't know if I would want to have stained glass on the on my door in like a winter town I feel like that would just make everything really cold right like wouldn't that just make everything really cold zombie slayer zombie bane is this one handed or two handed this is two handed it's one handed can I buy two of these Hell yeah, let me get two of these zombie banes. Ooh, anti-zombie squad. Fuck zombies. All my homies hate zombies. But now... Yo, Sprig Drasil? But now I'm almost out of money. Let me get this Sprig Drasil, though. Get two of these bad boys, man. Fuck it. sell some stuff. We can get rid of the falcon blade. We can get rid of the cautery sword. Uh, Sage's elixir. We don't need that. Uh, Alright. Wyvern wand. Let's blast it. What else? Oh, the lightning staff we can get rid of. Slime drop. What's in the item bag? We have any shillings? Any Drasillian shillings I can sell? Yo, I fuck with the soundtrack. The soundtrack is so sick. Heavy. All right, let's see if we can buy anything else. <clears throat> An icicle dirk. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, you know, I guess that's good. It's better for Eric. Oh, I'm broke. Alright. Uh, armor shop? Just to look. This armor is kind of whack. A magical hat. A hocus hat? Is this like a fez? Hmm. 
Chance of being prevented from casting spells reduced by 25. That's pretty good. A hairy vest. Silk boussier. Oh no. I've received a message upon the cellular phone. Eyebrow raising, though. This will replace... Is this... Wait, that's defense or charm? Hold up, hold up. Jade only wears charm armor. Does this decrease her charm? No, it increases it. Okay. Jade only wears maximum charm equipment. Jade is a charm build right now. Plump, 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 plump. What's good, Eric? What are you doing loitering by the docks, Eric? None of your business. So, did you get the orb or what? <laughs> None of your business. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me, bro. And all because I can spot a phony a mile off. You can thank me later. <laughs> Yo, Jade, put some pants on. Come on, dog. What's the deal here? Oh, it's nothing, lassie. Oh. I just can't stop wondering who the handsome young fellow that put Crystalinda up to all this might be. He'd have to be very important indeed to have the it's, same uh, it's your boy. as the mighty Sir Hendrik. You don't think it could have been Mordigan himself, do you? It was, uh, oh, uh, oh, no I spoilers. Really, I do. Well... Standing around here guessing won't do us any good. We have a tree of life to be getting to. Come on, you horrible lot. This adventure is Man, the This overhead. song is sick. Onward to Egdrasil. Mm. Oh my. Mm, this song is so sick. I got look. Look. You know it. There's no way you don't know it. Mm -mm -mm. Uh oh. <laughs> oh. in back at the library rab i thought you said it was a spell book Bruh. another one to add to the collection eh and there i was thinking you'd finally got over your little obsession <gasps> sir rab you have been called <laughs> sir red rab. and red faced and after you'd just done your rousing speech too talk about mortifying Man, don't roast him. He's old. But, 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 but wait! You, you don't understand. I only read them for the articles. The articles. <laughs> the articles, I tell ye! Poor Robert. These guys are arguing, dude. What is up with Japan and making short people go like this? You ever notice that? You watch any sort of... You, you experience any sort of Japanese media and short people go like this. Like, they do what this guy is doing. They do the old potato dance. What is that? 
Also, sandals? In this weather? Sandals? In this weather? You for real, bro? <gasps> Loot and pillage. Loot! Pillage! Damn. It's because short people are angrier, you think? You think short people are naturally angry? I mean, I know, I, I know of like one or two particularly short people and I would say they're a little bit more irritable than normal. <laughs> but I don't know if that's just because like, you know. Let's have some party talk. I want to talk to you about. The first forest and climbed up Yggdrasil. We need to cross the Sneerfilt. All right. I think we have to fight a dragon. Ryu Gateki wo Kure, bro. Should have summoned the horse. What happened to the framer right there? Man, I've been playing this game forever. Playing this game once a week is not enough to finish it. Wait. <laughs> Is this the Sneerfelt? It is. I knew of a... When I was in high school, um, someone I... Someone who was in one of my high school classes, right? They, I think it was like either their parents or like a relative or something got like seriously injured from an icicle. Like it's actually really important that if you live in a winter climate that after it snows or like it rains and then freezes that you go outside with like a broomstick or something, you break the icicles off of your gutters. Because if one of those falls on you, it's like, you know, dropping a heavy object from the top of the roof. Like, it can hurt you. <laughs> Worst case scenario, it could be like, it could thaw a little bit and get sharp and cut you. Like dropping a knife on somebody. True, true story. <laughs> true story. Someone I, I once barely knew of had a relative that was hurt with an ice <laughs> Uh, where's Arborea? Oh, God, I went the wrong way, bro. Bro, I went the wrong way, dude. Ah. You would stomp around like that if you were shorter? I don't know. I feel like being short has more advantage. Being short has more advantages than being tall. Like, I feel like smaller is, like, more efficient. Like, I mean, so maybe you wouldn't be able to reach, like, really high up objects. But you could just get a s step stool or, like, a ladder or some sort of, you know, technology. A tool to assist you. Where, like, if you're tall, you're just kind of fucked. Like, you're, you know what I mean? I feel like, uh, being shorter is better than being tall. Chill worm. Okay. Bro, she's dead. She didn't even get a chance. She didn't even have a chance. Dragon slash all day. Damn. He's got high dodge. I should have slept. The party didn't sleep. Sleep is optimal. Because now she can't cast any abilities. Fierce fire. Ah, 
I dodge puppy. So we have a group that we play Divinity with. Like, uh, Divinity Original Sin 2. It's a really good game. And one of the members of the group didn't want to show up to play today. Unfortunate. I don't think he ducked. I just think he, he said he was busy. What do I need to do? Can I AoE? He has swoosh. I feel like I swoosh. Uh, you know what? I think I do this. I think I actually just... This is probably more damage. Yeah, it was more damage than the Dragon Slash. Oh, I took away the... I took away the thing that gives her MP back. So she's not... Actually regenerating MP at all. Uh oh, Jade is useless. Though. Probably doesn't want to play. I don't know. I can't speak for someone who I am not. The hardest part about playing games in a group, like multiplayer games, is not the game themselves, but like. The getting the group together. Like, that's the hardest part. Puppy is notorious, though, for flaking out on games. <laughs> I remember we tried to play Magicka with him, and then, like, we got all the way to the final boss, and he was like, hey, I'll finally play. And then he was like, oh, no, I gotta go do something. He went and played League of Legends. <laughs> True story. What do I want to do? I discovered a new I discovered a new technique in Divinity. So you know how in 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 DOS two you can get um, telekinesis, right? Well, I discovered that you can drop heavy objects on people. So you can get a chest, right? And fill it with a bunch of things and then telekinesis it on someone and it'll crush them <laughs> oh man i was so surprised when i found that out i was like wow i love i i i love uh you know emergent game design that was so si like oh man that was so sick that's a good game what do you what do you mean dropping pianos on you ever just want to wily coyote someone like think about it that's something, um, on the real, that's something I do in Dungeons and Dragons. Like, if I play Dungeons and Dragons, one of my main, like, strats is to, like, I play, like, a utility character. My phone is, like, the start of the spider noise. What's up, BMAC? It's the Gundam sound effect. Like, uh, it's the new type sound effect from Gundam... Double O Gundam or something like that. Yeah, so... But yeah, that's one of my strategies in Dungeons and Dragons is to... Get, like, heavy objects and drop them on people. <laughs> Falcon Slash is just more damage than... No, that was less damage. This thing has high, high physical defense. Yeah, I, did. I discovered in D uh, Divinity 2 that you can drop heavy objects on people. So, like, I'm, I am I have a character with telekinesis. I'm about to fill up a chest with, like, you know, just everything. And I'm about to drop it on someone and just crush their spine. Like, Mortal Kombat style. Blow away. Blow away. You didn't die? Uh-oh. Yeah, I think carry weight and like inventory mechanics are underappreciated in RPGs. I, I find that shit hilarious. Wait. So yeah, how much strength do I have? How much can I carry? How much do I weigh? How high is this? <laughs> Just, I fall on him. <laughs> oh man. All right. How much do I need to get the two final? 
I should probably get this so I can unlock that. Sometime, but well, this is a claws ability. Do you get to pick up the chest back after, or does it break? So in Divinity, some items have health and some don't. So for example, you could get uh, the backpack, the starting backpack you have. It doesn't have health, so you can drop it on people as many times as you want. But I also discovered that if you put a bunch of items in um, a chest and the chest breaks, all of the items pop out. So I'm, I made a character who was a undead dwarf telekinetic barrel mancer. And in the first act of Divinity, I picked up all the poison barrels, all of the... Um, the uh, oil barrels I could pick up, and I picked up all the heavy water barrels. I just picked up everything heavy, poison and stuff like that. And um, anyway, the poison, the poison, and the oil are significant because I dropped a chest and it broke, and then like all the poison and the oil came out and they blew up, and it just like it was like dropping a nuke. <laughs> it was great. That's actually a high tier strategy. In 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 the playthrough that we're playing, Zambert Wigdalamus could in fact employ that strategy. Legendary telekinetic, Zambert Wigdalamus, fucking Omega level mutant telekinesis ability, just dropping nine hundred pound chests on people. Yo, what's up, J Wings? I see you, man. What's good? What is good? What is good? What is good, man? How's it hanging? Legendary. Legendary. Zambert Wigdalamus is a legendary character. I can't. I, I'm actually going to do that. I, I, I haven't. I didn't want to do it in the playthrough that we were playing because I feel like it's a little bit exploitative. But, like, I want to do it at least once. Like, I think I might challenge Puppy to a duel because he's like, oh, yeah, my character will one shot you, right? And then, like, go invisible right like survive go invisible and then drop the chest on him <laughs> i think that shit would be hilarious oh uh, could you imagine a playthrough of divinity where you play four barrel mancers like you just play kleptomaniac dwarves like a party of all dwarves and they all have telekinesis and you just fucking, <laughs> you just fucking like group up and you're like, all right, steal everything. And then you spread out, rob everyone, <laughs> build up one giant barrel. It, it only costs one AP to telekinesis an item in that game too. So even if you don't one shot them, which if you have like, I think to one shot anything in the game, you need a 4,000 pound chest, which you can easily get in every level. Um, but if, if you don't one shot them, all you have to do is pick the chest up and drop it again, because it only costs one AP to move it. Does it unstealth you? I'm not sure, but I don't know if you have four AP and you go, wham, 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 you just, you know, you give them the fucking, you give them the cartoon network. You just pop, 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 pop. <laughs> They're dead. They're dead. So anyway, I made, I made this dwarf. Dwarf telekinetic, this undead dwarf telekinetic barrel mancer, and uh, in the first level for joy, I picked up like all the water barrels, oil barrels, and stuff, and I dropped it on Dallas, like at the front, like I went around, like I snuck, so like they didn't do the talking scene or whatever, and I collected everything, I dropped it on her, and one shot her. <laughs> she was like, "Fuck, we have to retreat," and then I was like, "Oh no, you're not retreating." And anyway, long story short, she got away. Alexander got away, but everybody else died because <laughs> I just dropped a box on them. It was sick. Yeah. Yeah, if you one-shot her, she drops a really, really powerful hammer. I, it's called... Uh, I don't know. I forget what it's called. But it was like... It had like 21 damage on it. And it, it had like plus two bunch of stats. Well, let me... Why wouldn't that make sense, right? Like, Divinity is a is like a turn based, turn based tactics game. It's an RPG, but also it's an immersive sim. Like, it makes sense for it to have that mechanic. Like, 
why wouldn't dropping 9,000 pounds of shit on someone just snap their neck? Like, okay, I'm up here on this big rampart wall, and you're down there. Shouldn't I just be able to drop this on you? <laughs> just give him the piano? I feel like that... I feel like that makes sense. Man, I'm kind of hankering to play some Divinity, I'll be honest. Just talking about it has me excited to drop barrels on people. Excuse me. I need to craft some items to get the um, perfectionist pearls. The Perfectionist Pearls allow me to increase my current gear. Yeah, anyway, I hope I hope you are also having a great day, J-Wings. Shoutouts to just chilling. I respect that. I think I just want to craft anything, really. Anything at all. I need to adjust my camera angle. I feel like if I put the camera down, it cuts off the top of my head, which is weird. But right here, you can't even see that my shirt has a mountain on it. I fuck with mountains. I love mountains. I'm finna climb some mountains. I like hiking. Believe it or, believe it or not, is Punk going to be able to participate in the next CPT qualifier in the U.S.? They said that he's going to start and lose his bracket, which I think is absolutely ridiculous. They should either enforce the rules as written or not enforce them at all. Like, customized, weird things like that is ridiculous. Yeah, it's, a, it's, it's, it's ridiculous. It's like, what the fuck are you doing, Capcom? Like, what are they doing? That doesn't make any sense. Ooh, perfect. 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 Yeah, they said on Twitter, they were like, due to misconduct, this part, the player is going to start in loser's bracket if he chooses to play in a CPT tournament. That's so ridiculous. Like... Like it, I don't it, it to. So in my opinion, it doesn't matter what he did at all. Like what he did at all, that doesn't matter in this situation, right? What matters is that Capcom has clear, defined, and consistent rules of competition, right? So if they have rules. Why are they not enforcing them? Like, they, that seems like a weird special privilege kind of thing. And it's that's like, what even is that? Like, see, it, my question is, is, that, is, is he even popular enough to where, like, if he doesn't participate in a tournament, people won't watch it? I don't know if that's true or not. If that would be the case, there's, like, some tinfoil hat shit you could do. You know, you could put on your tinfoil hat and generate a conspiracy theory. Either way, I don't like it. You know, to be honest, I haven't given a f fuck about tournaments since like 2016. Like I've, I've just, I've li like personally, I haven't watched anything. The one thing I watched, I watched CPT West, and I, I. The only reason I watched that is because I got the replays off of one of the players' profiles, and I did a replay review on them uh, on Wednesday. Right? But, like, I have not been following the Street Fighter V competitive scene at all. Like, I'll be real, I think that shit is boring. <laughs> Personal preference. Cool. This is hard. 
you think they're both wrong? You shouldn't have said what he said, and Capcom should have followed the rules they wrote. I agree. Oh, I'm out of focus. Shit. Okay. Well, it's not gonna come out very good. Fuck. I was too busy lamenting how much I dislike Street Fighter V. <laughs> Okay, let's see if we can make any gear. Nobody in my party really uses shields right now. We all dual wield. Oh, this is good. Does this have charm on it? What's the charm? 35? Hell yes, dude. Hell yes, a plus three, this? But without tournaments, you couldn't get those amazing matches like Daigo and Bruce and Mochi. Yeah, but the thing is, is they don't have those matches. <laughs> they, I don't know. I don't know if it's just me, but I haven't seen any of those matches in a, in a grip. In a grip. Really, really the, the whole global pandemic uh, has really, really put a damper on Street Fighter in general. Like, it's so hard to have tournaments with without, like, being able to show up, you know? That was fortuitous AF. You think what they're doing with Punk is fine because the rules are written for a normal year? Uh, so I can see, I can see where that would, like... That would be a reasonable position, but I don't think Capcom, if, if they want to do what they're doing, I don't think they went about communicating it properly, right? Like they state that like, well, these rules are because of the lack of tournaments, we're going to do this instead. Uh, that firstly putting someone in loser's bracket is weird because it just disrupts the flow of the entire tournament right um I, it's not like it doesn't like make the tournament fall over or anything or like go crazy out of whack but it's just like okay you start with a loss i guess i don't know that's a weird punishment but also like when they commute getting onto the communication part is they should have very much clearly more clearly stated like say it like three or four times in whatever post they make like you know make it real big bold letters for extra dum-dums like because of the lack of tournaments this year because of real rona hours we are going to adjust the punishment this is not a normal thing right they say they say in the post like because of lack of tournaments this year but really they should be like they, they need to like this is not a normal thing you must understand because i mean myself included members of the street fighter 5 community we just eat fucking glue like we're not smart <laughs> you know what i mean like street fighter 5 players are fucking stupid like they need to more clearly communicate like this is not a normal thing this is not do not expect this to happen again you know like next time we will stick to the rules. They need to they need to do that. Like, because you know for a fact that most people who are like, you know, clamoring about this situation or whatever, most of the people didn't even fucking read the post that Capcom made. Like they didn't zoom into the picture. You know what I mean? But uh beyond beyond that, personally I don't think they should have Put him in loser's bracket. That doesn't make... Like, they should have been, been like, uh... I don't know. We're gonna penalize you CPT points. Or something, right? So he could still enter a tournament and win. Right? Or something like that. Like, they should have they should have penalized him CPT points. If they're still even giving those out. Or they should have just been like, oh, you can't participate. Um... I don't know. I feel like putting him in loser's black bracket is like it's so much different than the normal the normal rules. Yeah, there's no points. Yeah. 
I don't know why. Why would they not have points? Like, couldn't they just evenly distribute the amount of points between the thing? Like, I don't know. I, I'm very, to be honest, I'm unfamiliar with the tournament structure. I haven't been following it. Like, I just, like I was saying earlier, I just, just don't give a fuck about CBT anymore. Like, I think Street Fighter Five is boring to watch. <laughs> Which is, which is terrible because like my whole, literally, literally I pay my rent by like looking at Street Fighter V. <laughs> oh no. But yeah, like this, they, I don't know. I just think that loses bracket is like a weird, weird way to go about it. And... I think additionally because they didn't like they didn't like spell it out in fucking big crayon letters that this is not a normal thing I think it's a bad look for them right because people are just gonna assume you know what I mean and they they really have to worry about their reputation because they have they already have a bad reputation you know there's no reward for Capcom Cup. Why would they take away the points? You know what I mean? Like, that doesn't make sense to me. Like, how... So, what are they going to do? Run 32 tournaments? Or is there only going to do 16 tournaments? Maybe you're going to say something controversial. You know I'm French, and from our point of view, the U.S. Street Fighter community has too much of that trash talking and problems with ego. Look at... Low tier god, knuckle dude, punk, etc. Tea bag. It's a cultural thing. I would, uh, I'd be inclined to agree that it is a cultural thing, but I don't think it's just like in the United States. I think it has to do with kind of Street Fighter in general. Like, fighting games have a history of being like very rough and tumble. Like, shit talking and like being aggressive towards other people and like having like an exclusive community being like part of that that you know like the top level group is like something that stems all the way back to like arcade culture um but i heavy agree that it's too much like i think it's absolutely whack um so one of my, I guess you could say like my second, second competitive game or like the second passion I have is, is Starcraft 2. I love Starcraft 2 so much, right? And in Starcraft, there's this concept of good manner and bad manner and if you have bad manners, like if you don't say GG after a game or you don't say like, good luck, have fun at the beginning or you trash talk somebody, it's like really not cool. You know, I mean, of course there are people who are just like shitheads and they that's like their thing, right? There's definitely players who are like, you know, low tier God or people who do, you know, some sort of similar things to like teabagging and stuff like that. There's definitely like that in there, but it's like so much less like there's a really big emphasis on sportsmanship and yeah no rush 10 no rush 20 right <laughs> what's up penny i see you man but yeah there's a much a bigger emphasis on sportsmanship and i i i appreciate that but i can also see how in the fighting game community people are they're hesitant to try to do that because they don't want to put on a facade right like one of the big things about the fighting game community is the, the players and the people, they want to be authentic. They don't want to be fake. But the truth is, it's already fake as fuck. But like, they're want, they want an air of authenticity. You know what I mean? So like, that's why like, uh, I think that's also why like one of the reasons like when e the esportsification of the fighting game community started to happen, people were very resistant to it. Um, because they were afraid that it would make it unauthentic. That would make it like a facade. Um, they, people would have to pretend to, to act and stuff in a way they aren't. And I mean, uh, to be, uh, 
I think in my personal opinion, a lot of those people, a lot of those people either didn't understand what like the esportsification could mean, like what it would actually be, like what things would actually change in the culture. And and I also think a lot of those people probably just kind of shitheads anyway. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like the FGC has like a problem. There's like people being like grab ass at tournaments and like bigotry and all this sort of shit just like everywhere. Just people being nasty. And it's like, uh, I don't know if esports has too much to do with that. You know, like does having to show up on time for like a photo shoot before an invitational event compromise the culture it depends on a combination of things fighting games carry a level of shit talk similar to 1v1 sports EU CS teams talk a lot of shit like their football club yeah that's true that is true Even if you remove the sponsors from those guys, they would still be assholes. Grab ass and bigotry are different from teabagging. Yeah, I wasn't. I'm not saying they're the same thing. I was saying like, uh, it's it's a it's a gradient. You know what I mean? It's a it's a it's a sliding scale. But um, there's the what I was saying is that there's a culture of like. You know, you, the FGC wants to be authentic. They want to be like grassroots, right? We want to be authenticity. And I think a lot of people relate acting the way they do and having, you know, like that attitude, that like shit talk attitude and like, uh, you know, standoffish, aggressive, kind of not like isolationist, but like in group kind of attitude to the fighting game community that's on like one side of the the gradient and on the other side or uh, that's like that's like on a certain spot on the gradient right and i think that attitude relates into how people are resistance resistant to be like esportsified you know what i mean but like in my opinion people will still be shitheads and like you know Esportsification is not necessarily gonna like delete the culture. It's not gonna change it. And there's people being like super bigoted and like being grab ass at like events and stuff. And if you esports up the fighting game community, things like that will go will will not continue to go unpunished. So I don't I don't see it as like necessarily like a bad thing, but like a lot of people in the fighting game community are all or nothing about that, right? So like yeah, they're not the same thing. And I'm saying they're on like a gradient, but like there's like a culture where it's like this or nothing. I think. At least in my observation. You see what I'm saying? Like I'm thinking about it. I think that makes sense. You know what I'm saying? You, you, you know what I'm saying? You know what I mean, bro? You just uh, like uh, you 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 follow my ideas here. <laughs> I think that I think that makes sense. There is something to be said though about like the fighting game community having a certain culture. You guess it's fair to view shit talk as dishonorable, but you view it like more like WDE storylines. You don't think chalk shit is actually bag flavor on the same scale. Hmm. Yeah, it's, it's not. I mean, so, I mean, talking shit like specifically like shit talk is like on the lowest end of obnoxious, like the lowest end of like negative attributes. And and sometimes it could be like a positive attribute, right? But. The shit talk, there's also, you know, that also is dependent on, like, what it is. Because, like, 
I don't know, if somebody says something that's like racist or transphobic or like, uh, you know, they they do like a low tier God or they do like a cerebrast, they say something like that and people just let that slide. You know, that's not shit talk. That's like actually terrible. You know what I mean? Or like, uh, I don't know, they say something that's, uh, you know, anti-women or something like they say like, oh, oh, like there's been. There has literally been top level players who say like, if you lose to a woman, you should like uninstall the game or some shit like that. Or like, oh, you suck if you lose. They, they say that like, and obviously that's not fucking true. Right. But they, they say that and people let that slide and accept that. And it's like, okay, where is shit talk? That's like a WW, like, oh, we have a rivalry between players. And like, where is the shit that's actually terrible? You know what I mean? Uh, I don't think that's necessarily super hard to distinguish, right? But I also think that it's easy to slip little tidbits of that redi- that unacceptable shit in when there's like a culture is like it's okay to be bad mannered, you know what I mean? Um, I'd also say that uh, just thinking about the idea of salt, it I at least in Street Fighter. I don't know about other fighting games. I, I really, honestly, really only know about the Street Fighter community. People use being salty as an excuse to be petulant, toxic, childish, and like all around terrible. Like, just because you're upset is not an excuse for you to be a fucking child. But people go, oh, I was just salty, bro. Everybody understands. We all get salty. No. Grow the fuck up. You know what I mean? Like, people use being salty as an excuse to be terrible people. You know? And they may not be terrible people all the time, but, like, that's a real life thing? Yeah. Yeah. But I've definitely... I've... That's... That probably... Oh, I was just upset. Or... That's like saying, oh, I was just drunk. Like... Fucking lame excuse. But I think that's like an that's like a very accepted thing within like the Street Fighter circle where it's like, oh, I was just salty. I wasn't mad at you. I was just salty. Or they say like, oh, I was just salty about this character or something. And then when they were salty, they said something like a fucking, I don't know, bomb orphanages or some shit like that. Right. Like they said something way out left field. It's like, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold up. OK, this guy lost to E Honda online. It's okay for him to say that? Bomb orphanages? Like, you know. I think it's a. Like, I don't know. There's a lot of reasons. There's a lot of excuses for people to act childish. Like, grown men. Like, grown ass men. Like, real ass adults. Acting like children. It's, it's like, it's not a good look. You think salt make you a better person? Cause you lose some body, blah, blah, blah. You end up learning how to stay calm. At first you get angry. Yeah. I think, uh, playing fighting games is usually like trying to become proficient at fighting games is usually a self motivated activity. So you, most of the time you teach yourself. It's not like if you go like, um, you know, for example, if you wanted to go learn how to to box, right? You would go to a boxing gym and then you would talk to a coach and there would be like a process. There'd be like a, a very mapped out process you would follow, right? Like first you would start with like strength and conditioning and then you would move on to like exercises to increase certain types of coordination. And then you would practice like each technique in a specific order and then once you've mastered the techniques you would go and spar with someone and as you spar with them you would work on certain drills and and things like that or like learning the piano right like you start with your posture and learning the notes you learn how to read the music and then you learn you know scales there's drills and shit learning basketball right it's mapped out it's been mapped out it's 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 somewhat of a linear process and there's always some resource for you but when you learn a fighting game it's not a linear process because there's like multiple different things you can can be good at and multiple different things you could be bad at and still be very proficient in the game right 
it's not linear and there's no drills there's there's even though there are a lot of resources like educational resources for fighting games it's not even close to like learning how to play basketball or to box or to play chess or or piano or guitar or anything like anything else so most of that's most of it is going to be self-taught and when you teach yourself something you there's like a special pride and attachment so when you find out that whatever you thought was wrong or hard you get it's easy to to get cranked up getting emotional all types of people excuses yeah that's yeah it's not fgc specific like it's not fgc specific but at least it in my experience the the place that i've most seen people use that excuse is like when they get salty they'd be like oh i was salty bro it's like that's not I don't know. That's not an excuse to act like a kid, right? All types of people find excuses for their behavior. This is this is true. I think uh I think if 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 the fighting game community, I don't know, fighting game community is like a very big, very nebulous term. It's like a bunch of sub communities all added up together, you know? I think at least if the Street Fighter 5 community put a bigger emphasis on sportsmanship and held people accountable for the things they say and the actions they take. It would be more prosperous for everyone. Like, it would just be better for everyone. Like, everything would be better. You know what I mean? And to do that, to do that, right? To have, like, so, to, to I don't know, to clean it up, right? That doesn't necessitate that you're fake. That doesn't mean that you have to pretend to be someone you're not, right? All that means is that if you're a cunt, you get kicked out, <laughs> right? Like, don't be a cunt. Like, it's not that hard. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, if, if it if it so happens that like the core of the community, right? That core group of people, those those uh, very influential people in the community. Oh, those very influential people in the community, those those people, the movers and the shakers and the, you know, the people who, who do things like make events, uh, you know, help develop the game, stuff like that. You think my definition of cunt would nuke 80% of the community? I don't know about 80%. But I definitely do use the word cunt liberally. <laughs> but my point my my point is like you don't need to be fake to not be terrible. Right? Like if it so happens that the like the core the core people who are like where the culture is coming from like what makes the fighting game community the fighting game community if all of those people are people end up being like terrible people uh, fucking i don't know so be it right like but i don't believe that i don't think that what makes up you know the different groups in the fighting game community what makes them so so good and like well people want to be in those groups and stuff i don't I don't think that requires people being nasty. I don't think that requires people being bigoted. I don't think that requires, you know, people generally just being foul or like, you know, people finding excuses to act like petulant little children. So, I don't know. I don't know. If, if being more sportsmanlike requires people to be fake, I, in my opinion, I think they could just leave, right? Because Huh. 
But I think also, a lot, I think a lot of people would also assume that I have like a very uptight, uptight view of it. You know what I mean? Yo, my AOE, dude. You didn't die? Oh, shit. I don't know. You ain't ever been, you ain't ever played church league basketball? That's gotta be nasty. That, yup. Yup. <laughs> yup. But uh, as far as like specific players go, I don't even think like I don't even think Punk is that bad in the grand scheme of things. Like, sure, he he popularized teabagging, and he said like some some shit that should not fly. But there are people who are worse. Like, and there are a lot of people who are worse. Punk is just like the most popular example of someone who can who can be toxic, so to speak, right? Like, I think Punk is like, he's not irredeemable, you know what I mean? He didn't do anything that causes like super major damage to the community. But, um, there are people who are less, a lot less popular who are just actually terrible. Mm -mm. Uh, I mean, I don't really... I'm not exactly sure, like, what can be done about that except for, like... not encouraging so let me let me put it this way let me put it this way right this is this i'm not saying like everybody needs to be like a care bear or whatever this is a, this is what i this is what i would like to see you do not need to forcefully encourage positivity but you should absolutely not facilitate negativity Right, that's all I want to see is I don't want to see active facilitation of negative shit. Right, you don't need to pretend to be happy and, and sunflowers and rainbows and all that shit. You could talk shit, you could call people bad, you could teabag them, right? You, I don't know, you could tell them they look like fucking snuffleupagus or something, right? You could call them ugly or whatever. You can do all that shit. But you should not actively facilitate like real, true, negative shit. You know? Like... Just don't be a bigot. Easy peasy. Yeah, be just because you got salty is not an excuse to be. It's not an excuse. <laughs> if anything, it's like, well, better manage your emotions, right? Can I fight the dragon yet? I don't think I can. Oh shit. Trolls? Is there a target over here? I think there's a target over here. Fuck. Fuck. Bro, no target over here? Are you kidding me? I was robbed. I was robbed. They set me up. Hmm. Man, every time I think about Street Fighter, every time I think about Street Fighter, I, I literally spend like at least two hours of my day thinking like, man, Street Fighter is so cool. That shit is sick. And then I think about like the Street Fighter community and I'm like, Damn, that shit is fucking whack. <laughs> like, 
I think about the developers, I'm like, ah, oh, fuck. And I think about the netcode, I'm like, damn, most people can't even play the game. <laughs> like, oh no. I really, really, really love the idea of Street Fighter, but the actual experience of it is, is just fucking very mid-tier. Like, very, very mid-tier. Super mid. This is either going to one-shot me or going to be a joke. Oh, shit. A vicious enemy? Am I tripping? Then you realize that Capcom's netcode is better than every other Eastern developer's netcode, and you cry. I cry ever, Tim. Oh, my God. You ever tried to play KOF 14 online? You ever tried to play King of Fighters online? <laughs> oh. Oh. I think I just want to do this. AoE. AoE is good. I cry over Tim. Do I have a... I don't really have a good AoE here. Ooh, okay. Okay, those are asleep. So let's just focus on the Cyclops. Do enemies have resistant hidden resistances? Yeah, some enemies um some enemies are vulnerable to different types of attacks. So usually usually like big big strong type enemies are more vulnerable to magic than they are physical attacks. Um, some enemies are vulnerable to specific types of magic. So, like, some enemies are... Like, ice enemies will be more vulnerable to... Air attacks, I think. There's, like, a... There's, like, a diagram. There's, like, a relationship. Like, fire enemies are weak to water. Water enemies are weak to air attacks. Stuff like that. It's like Pokemon. Kind of? But not really. It just depends on the monster. Some enemy, some enemies have higher resistance to being put to sleep. Uh, like they have resistance to certain debuffs. Yo, Rab is getting fucked. Come on. Uh, let's see. There are different Is there I can do to help? categorizations of monsters too. Like there's like a mechanical monsters, slime type monsters, demons, dragons, beasts. And depending on that, they're also vulnerable to certain things. Cause some attacks will be like specifically does damage to demons or specifically does damage to beasts. Like this, um, this Cyclops guy is vulnerable to pretty much all types of status effects and magic, but he has like a really high physical resist. It just so happens that my physical characters are fucking buff. This is my most damaging attack. This is the best attack in the game. Oh, nobody needs healing. Sexy Beam is the most damaging attack in the game. It's too good. I got turned around. These statues are alive. I fucking knew it. Look at these lips. Hold up. Why do these statues have such powerful lips? Hold up, hold up. Look at the, What is this? Am I tripping? 
Yo, I want this statue as like a profile picture. Look at this statue. Look at the nips. Bro, powerful nipple. Zoom. I, I need to increase my zoom technology. I need like a special tool to help me zoom. Sexy Beam is the best attack in the game, dude. So Sexy Beam, I believe you cannot resist the damage with armor. Or magical resist. So like, for example, if you fought like a, a knight type enemy or these stone guys with these powerful mustaches. Um, these guys are, I think these guys are more resistant to physical attacks. All right, let's see. Yeah, that only did 46 damage. But if I do sexy beam, they can't resist it. The only, the only, Sexy Beam has the damage, and then it has, um, the status effect. It can seduce them. So they can, they can resist getting seduced, but they can't resist the damage. The thirst is real. Hey, look at my, my healer. My healer did a magic attack, and they took 100, 107 and 98 damage from it. But my my super buff melee dude only does 46. Fucking armor, dude. I'm about to get TOS. Damn, the dodge? I thought I gave Silvando a second knife. I tripped Oh, wrong one. Fuck. I'm in fact tripping. Well, hello. Shout out to Silvando. He, Silvando has innately higher resistance to getting seduced by female enemies. <laughs> Yo. He's dead, though. Spirit gun. Maybe he's weak to wind. Wind man? Swoosh. Damn the accelerato. You're a. Um, if I'm not mistaken, your agility determines your initiative. So the more the more agile characters like Eric, Silvando, uh, depending on how you build Jade, they'll they'll go first. So usually during boss fights, you want to try to accelerate all the whole party. You can only stack the buffs to two too. Okay. So if you you put on a buff, is agility hit chance? I think I'm not sure. I think that might be deafness. There's strength. Agility, deafness, uh, magical might, and magical mending. I don't know what the difference between agility and deafness is. All I know is that Eric has really high deafness. I need to get a real mage out here. Is real mage ours? Runny exoskeletons. I'm about to look in the attributes tab and see what agility does. It might be in the tutorial tutorial menu. Yeah. Bro, oh my god. I was about to say if she died <laughs> she died before she even got to take her turn. Alright, I 
think I want to use this. Sylvando's second knife. I didn't sell it, did I? Alright, let's look. Hold up. Attributes? Uh, spells? Miscellaneous? Traveler's tips? Basics. Auto run. Menus? Allocating skill points. Down the field. Where are the attributes? I'm about to Google this. I'm literally about to... Oh, here we go. Uh, bro, I don't have a right stick. I don't have a right... Bro, can I not scroll? I don't have right stick. I'm on keyboard. Uh, uh. Hold up. No. Hmm. Hmm. Am I really going to have to Google this? Because I can't scroll down this fucking menu. Wait, wait, maybe it's maybe it's JK. Aha! Wait, K was up. Is it KM? Wait, wait, how do I go back? Oh, L? L went down. L? L? O? It's, it's OK. OK L colon? You serious? Strength. Agility governs when a character will get their chance to act in battle. Higher agility also gives greater chance of avoiding enemy attacks. Okay, so agility is your dodge. Agility is your dodge chance and your uh, um, initiative. De uh, deafness determines how likely a character is to catch enemies under unaware. Oh, so surprise rounds. Deafness also makes it far less hard to flee from battle. Too bad I have no fleeing from battle turned on. Hmm. So you got HP, MP, attack, defense, magical might, strength, resilience. Reflects a character's basic resistance to physical blows. Agility, deafness, and charm. I guess your hit chance is just... Randomly determined by your level, I guess. Is that, oh, oops. Can I get up here on one jump? No, fuck. There's a formula. Like Dragon, all the Dragon Quest games use basically the same, same formula with just little minor adjustments. Yo, loot. I love loot. Can you imagine driving one of these things? I'd drive those to work. Even though I work from my house. <laughs> Yo, look at him in there. Let me get the camera closed. Yo, I'm chilling. I am chilling. Out of my way, eggs. I don't know if this is faster than regular running. How does anyone get anywhere in this fucking world? Wait a minute, let me... Alright, so you're just like a... You're like one of the vendors or whatever, right? How the fuck do you get... Up here? Like... In, in, in what world is an NPC gonna take down one of these egg egg bots and fucking jump up here? I, mean, I don't know. I guess they could cast magic. Like, they could zoom. I'm asking too many questions. I'm asking too many questions. Bum, bum, bum. Bye. 
not have thought a place like this would be hidden away at the top of that mountain trail. I fuck with mountains. Yeah, let's go. Bro, my shirt has a mountain on it. I fuck with mountains. Let's go. Mountains are sick. Who doesn't fuck with... If you don't fuck with mountains, I don't fuck with you. Welcome to Arborea, home of the Keepers, the ones who watch out. Mm -hmm. I always mm -hmm. thought it was a little bit, well, dull. But it's good to be back. The altar in the vision we saw appeared to be in the highest part of the first forest, which lies just beyond the village. But we should stop off in Arborea before we head up there. Everyone will be ever so pleased when they find out the Luminary has come to visit. I haven't even specced any talent points into that skill tree. Yo, sheep? I love sheep. <laughs> uh, let's see. How many side quests? Before I do this, when I do this, there's no turning back. So I need to look at our quest catalog. Young man in a tavern and a merchant. Oh shit, we need to go back to the ice place. <clears throat> oh great and glorious Idrasil, whose holy heart is the source of all life and to whom all life returns. We thank you for this gift. The withered leaves fall from your branches, and fresh buds spring forth in their place. One life ends, and another begins. Oh, oh shit. mighty Mother Yggdrasil, we pray that you will bless this new bud, this child. The way this guy's head warrior. moves. May he grow into a leaf worthy of your benevolent boughs. Like just the way the way his jaw. <laughs> What a weird animation. Ah. It's the hat. Well, well, I can't wait till I get some normal armor. I'm so tired of that plate return. mail. <laughs> Good day, Holy Father. It's ever so nice to see you again. And everybody else, of course. Everyone seems well. As do you, my dear. But, Veronica, were you not taller when last we met? Well, uh, it's a long story. Anyway, that's not important right now. What is important is that we did what you told us to. We found the luminary. What's up, dude? I got wings on my helmet. I'm the main oh, character. What a blessed day this is. Not only do we welcome a new life into the village, <laughs> but the luminary also. Did he? Did the voice actor really just hit it with a "What a blessed day"? <laughs> did he just do that? <laughs> I am Benedictus, oh, High Priest of Arboria, and I have waited my whole life for this moment. Yeah, that's a raw name, Benedictus. If I ever get another cat, I'm gonna name him Benedictus. A being of pure evil who plots to throw all Erdria into turmoil. I see. So this Mordigan has corrupted Mordigan. the minds of Heliodor's best and boldest, and is using his evil influence to turn the world against our friend here. Yes. But we think we may know how to defeat him. We have to go to the World Tree. A great power awaits us there. There's an altar somewhere in the first forest. 
We think we can use the orbs to get up to Yggdrasil. I've got the magic. I've, I've gathered the magic dragon balls. Just as I dreamed it all those months ago. I saw you, my dears. You were climbing toward the tree of life. The luminary beside you. It was this vision that caused me to send you on your quest to seek him out. A vision surely granted unto me by mighty Yggdrasil herself. All is now clear. You were climbing toward the great altar of the first forest. And indeed, this is where you must go. The path to the forest lies this guy has gamer the neck. As of course you know. He's got gamer neck. I will await you there. Hold on. I gotta sit up. Remember to sit up. Orbs in your position. Come to me, and I will show you the way. <laughs> the emote is fucking cursed. What is that? That's a moo moo emote. Fucking grunch. Oh man. All right, all right, all right. Hold on. I gotta save it in this town. This isn't the church. It's not a priest. Yeah, I fuck with that carpet, though. I'll be back to loot pillars that later. Yeah, that's good, dude. Alright. The grunge. <laughs> Such a fucking... That's cursed. When can I take off this damn helmet with the wings, dude? Usually, usually I'd be down for a helmet with wings because you're really channeling the might of Thor, you know what I mean? But like this, this doesn't really, you know, say Norse God. This is like a, I don't know. This doesn't look right. Wait, if you, see, so just do that. Uh, let's go do these side quests. Let's go do these side quests because once I go into the dungeon here, it's like uh, the second half of the story. You can't go back. So we need to go back to uh, Sniffleheim. 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 Alright. Where is it? Is it like a shop? I gotta go to the second floor of the shop. This is the church. Fuck. Is it up here? Yeah, here it is. It's the same school that your mama's mama's went to. I see. Oh, this is not a side quest. It's in the other building? Really? I was mixed. Yo, put some clothes on. It's cold. Oh. Designed by legendary architect Gunner Builder Borg. Gunner Builder Bo Gunner Builderborg <laughs> Gunner Builderborg Uh Boon Pillage Yo sick mustache dude Uh, Minister for Viking Affairs, okay. The Vikings have to deliver tributes? Uh huh. Alright. I gotta go shake down some, uh. 
shake down some some raider folk. And there's another one. Young man in the tavern. So let me jump over railings, game. Come on. If I ever design an RPG with like fucking stairs in it, I'm gonna let the player jump over railings but break their break their legs. If you jump from high enough, your ankles get snapped. <laughs> this is a good looking game. But what is this animation? The fuck the fuck are you doing? Oh shit, it's daytime? Damn, am I not gonna be able to behold? Ah, oh, boo! Fuck. I couldn't roast. Oh, bro. Hey. Oh, okay. I'm trying to get the puff puff buff. If you get all the puff puffs, you get a significant buff. I've already got the plus two charm. It just keeps going up. What is this? It's a windmill. Don't look at me like that. It's the puff puff buff. Keyword buff. It's optimal. Okay. I need to get... I need to brave the Sneerdfult and get this dude a flower so he can go propose to the evil witch who somehow became not evil in all of two seconds. They keep her around as a cruel joke. She's been sapped of her power. She's been, in, been enslaved, captured in a book for like fucking 50 plus years and they just keep her around. <laughs> Oh, man. All right, we need to hit the Sneerful. Can I get up here? Did I already get this? Oh, I did not. <laughs> rubies. I love rubies. You right there, bro? Oh, he's, uh... He's hawking his wares. Can I just can I zoom to the sneer filt? I think I think it's where you fight Yorg. I think the flower is a Yorg. Somewhere around here. It might be up on top of one of these cliffs. Let me fight this uh, bulldozer thing. Damn. So many. Damn, 109? That's pretty good. Damn, 69? That's pretty bad. I hope they don't have a combination attack. That would, uh, that would really hurt. Uh-oh. Bongo Fandango. Not enough MP. I just want the MP, bro. Damn, he does no damage to this. Must have a uh, high armor. This whole area is like better for casters 
Victory! Out of my way. I'm looking for an orange... Orange sparkly bit. The sound this makes is almost unbearable. I don't know what what were the developers thinking? They were like, "All right, we need a we need a rideable creature. Let's do this, but let's make it clank and clatter." Ow. 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 Damn, really? The Peruski? The, the, the Perry? This enemy must not have any MP because that staff attack did not steal MP from the enemy. Composed. Right, let's take this a little bit more carefully this time. Right. Oh shit, a target? Let me out of here. Bow, drive by. <laughs> gang violence. Oh no. Don't participate in gang violence. It's over here, right? There it is. I knew it. My memory avails me. Okay, now we need to go to the Vikings. Uh, you know what? Let's... Let's just go turn this in. Turn in one, then we'll go back and, turn and get the Vikings. Unless we end up at the dock. Then I'm just going to turn around and get on the boat. I see. Bro, I can't... I can't interact with you from this distance. I'm not trying to get any closer than six feet. There we go. Uh, Vikings over here. The Viking hideout. Alright. I've come to shake you down for the goods. Ooh, loot and pillage. It's a shakedown. Came for the tribute. Damn, this guy is wasted. Bro. Every time I come to this place, every time I enter the Viking hideout, I played this game like, this is like my third time playing this game. 
every time I come over here, like, ooh, a pile of gold. There's gonna be goodies. There's no fucking goodies, dude. It's a trap. All right. All right, bro. Uh huh. I'm here for the tribute, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your little brother went to collect it. Luck finding him. He sailed the northern seas, driven back by a savage sea monster. Oh, is this by Slime Island? Let me look at the, the old, the old, the old moop. Northern Seas. I think it's up by that island on the very top of the map. Alright. Finna. Finna loot, finna pillage. It's a uh, loot and pillage is this place out. I think there's a target over here. Am I tripping? Is it in the trees? Ooh. Some goodies. It's a Tarje. Right. It's like a target, but with class. It's like a... It's where you shop if you make solidly above minimum wage. <laughs> Difference between target and Tarje. <laughs> Ironically, the more money you make, the more you shop at Target. <laughs> the less money you make, the more you shop at Target. Hmm. I've come to a alcove of literal bandits to shake them down for their rent money. And just past that alcove, I found a well. And in that well, there's a system of caves. And in one of the caves, there's just a bed. You know, all signs point to this being a bad idea, but I think I'm about to just take a nap. Like, I think I'm about to just... You never just find a mysterious bed in a cave and just fucking take a snooze? I wonder why this bed is here. I think later in the game, like in the final act, there's a... I think there's a boss fight over here? I don't know why they would... Why is there a bed down there? I can't get in here yet, right? Nope. Gotta wait for it. Hmm. Ooh. Aha! Blast. I really gotta hoof it all the way back to the boat. Yo, that chandelier though? Imagine lighting the candles on that. That must be terrible. Are those gas lamps or candles? If I were to construct a chandelier like this, it would be just like a fucking death trap. Like, those would have to be gas lamps and this shit would have to be filled with oil. Like. Could, oh. It's just an explosion ready to happen. It's like 700 pounds hanging from the ceiling. Alright, where, where is the way out? I've, I've become turned around. I can't find my way. Oh, there we go. Yo, the skull and crossbones with the Viking hat over the door? I never noticed this detail. That's kind of sick. It's a little ominous, though. I don't know if I would want a skull and crossbones over my door. 
You know what? You ever... You ever been to a place where someone hangs swords or knives over the doorway? So one of my good friends from high school, right? He collects, like, swords. Like, you know, like... Civil War cavalry sabers and fucking... You know, old timey swords. Like he just I don't know, he just fucking has swords and knives and shit on his walls. And he has some like crossed over the doorway. So you go into that go in to one of the rooms in the house and there's just these fucking sharp ass swords ready to just fall on you. <laughs> Who does that? That seems like a bad idea. I would never put swords over my doorway. Damn, he didn't get poisoned. Accelerate all. Yeah, I can fuck with a sword though. I should buy a sword. Just invest in a sword. <laughs> so I could. Two pounds of useless steel. <laughs> if I had a, I mean, if I had a sword, think about all the things I could do. I could brandish it. I could take photos of it. I could. I don't know. <laughs> this is like not really much you could do with a sword, unless you're gonna start slicing somebody, right? I don't advocate slicing. I mean, really, if you get into a fight, if you get into a fight, right, like, a bludgeoning weapon is obviously superior. Like, if you get into a fight with somebody, you want, like, a mace. You want, like, a crudgel. You know what I mean? You want something that'll, like, you want a baseball bat. You know what I mean? You want a club. Like, you don't have to, you don't have to have any technique. You don't have to worry about edge alignment. If you get into a fight, you would just you just want to swing. You know what I mean? Oh, I could have took a teleport. I don't know. I mean, I mean, if if you really break it down, if you really really think about it, the best improvised weapon is a gun. <laughs> it's just just blast them. Just start blasting. <laughs> Oh, no. Brawl! Sizzle only 63? Magic barrier? Not nice. I should get Jade. I need big damage here. These guys are buff. Need some help. Yeah. Uh, Falcon Slash. Damn, one of them missed? Not a fan of missing all, all this much. Damn, he slept. Why is Jade level 33, but everyone else is level 32? I think when you pick up Jade and Rab, they're level 8. Maybe Rab is also level 33? Well, that was easy. Let's go, Eric. Five points, huh? Can't really purchase anything useful for five. I want divide though. I'm saving up for that. That move is too good to pass up. All right, we need the Northern Island. All right. There's either an unmarked island up here with a the boss with a boss fight, or it's this one. It might be...
It might be an unmarked one. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Damn, put him to sleep. Oh, if this guy gets seduced, it'll be CC heaven. Damn, he didn't get seduced. What a godlike animation. Boys owned. Uh, I'm not sure if the poison's gonna kill him. Better to be safe than to be sorry. Damn, that woke him up. Unfortunate. So, he's gonna have uh, diminishing returns on the sleep. Boom. You know what? Fuck it. I'll kill this guy. I didn't kill that guy. God damn it, Eric. Come on, Eric. Slice. Dice. Slice thrice. Who else wants? Is it this island? It couldn't possibly be. Is it this island? Is it this? Do I fight this thing? This looks like a. This reminds me of one of those void woken enemies from Divinity. Is it over here? What am I looking for again? I'm looking for like a bag of gold or something, right? What am I looking for? Oh, hey. Yeah, you got the thing, dude? Why are we why are we on a tropical island, but we're in the northmost region of the map where everything is snowy? Hmm. Your ship sunk. Scruffy urchins. Damn, for the all this way for the queen's lunch? Are you serious? Okay. I wonder why the armor appears so dark in this lighting. Is it getting worn over time? That'd be sick. Ah, oh, yes, grass. Just the thing I need to fuck up Twitch's encoding. Ah, oh, look at the pixelation. Beautiful. Beautiful image. 1080p. Fucking grass. <laughs> to be fair, the grass would fuck up any kind of video encoding. Actually, I can just teleport, dude. Fuck this. Y'all can drive back on your own. I need to go to Sniffleham. Sniffleham City. I, I, I had alt tabbed. I alt tabbed. Look at these nails. Oh. Whoa. Look at these nails. You're not even hitting it. Yo, come on. These guys suck. This guy's a little bit better, but this guy sucks. Out of my way, lady. I've got imperial business. Oh, wait. Never mind. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm gonna go to the tavern. You know, I've never been in a tavern that, like, in real life, I've never been in a tavern that wasn't just, like, a dingy pit. Like, is that, like, an old-timey thing? Okay. Like, I don't know. Hanging out, hanging out in a tavern seems kind of shitty. Bump, bump. Transgress with finesse. Loot, pillage. Now I need to go on the other side of town. And turn in this other quest. Hmm. There we go. Upstairs. Are those yams? What are those? The fuck are these? Are these sausages or yams? There's gotta be yams. Hmm. Okay. Is this a technique people still employ? Like, you see this a lot in, like, old-timey games that are supposed to be, like, medieval-esque. You see people hanging foodstuffs. Right? Do people still do this? I've literally never seen anyone hang food. Like, maybe bananas? Like, I've never seen anyone hang foodstuffs. I have returned! Yeah, I got the, I got the goods, bro. Alright. Pirate hat. Let's go. What does that do? Trying to sit up. I'll be real with you. Sitting down for about two hours is like my limit. I gotta stand up in a minute. Sitting down for long periods of time is no good for your spine. Equipment bag. Oh, this is for Eric. Everybody's geared up properly. Okay, now we can go back to our Borea because we finished all the quests. Right? Yeah, we've. There's only two, but these will be on the way, I think. Alright. Back up. Yeah. I want to get a hole. I want to get this in the shot, bro. Oh. oh, that's pretty good. That's a pretty good shot, if I do say so myself. I will be right back. I'm going to take a three to five. If you've been sitting down for mad long, consider standing up because your health is hella important. All right, I will return shortly. Shout out to everybody for hanging out. I really appreciate you guys.
good friends. I have returned. What is good? What is good? What even is... What even is even? You know what I'm saying? What even? Oh. Excuse me, I'm sneezing out here. So, uh... <laughs> you ever just, like, try to suppress a sneeze and then blow your eyeballs out? Just push, push for your eye, eyes gonna pop out of its socket? I feel like that every time. <laughs> every time, without fail. I think I might sneeze again. I went to pet my cat. You know, I'm allergic to cats. <laughs> I, I, I adopted a stray cat. And I am actually pretty allergic to cats. <laughs> Very congested. Some lore, huh? Cool. Keepers Dreamers. Hmm. Whoa. I feel like living in an all stone, all tile house would be really uncomfortable. Feels like it would be really, seems like it would be really cold. The bank? Nah, the bank is for wimps. Oh shit, it's the people. Hello there. Hello there. Would you like to stay at our inn? Clean sheets. Cheap price. <laughs> what is this? Who? Who thought? Why did they put this... <laughs> <laughs> Look at this character, dude. Oh, no. Oh. What is... <laughs> what is this? Why does she look like that? Who? <laughs> wow. Oh, my God. A little picture? Of a cottage. Why would they put that? <laughs> uh, that's cursed. A file of magic water. Hip, hip, hip. Oh, there we go. An urn of saints' ashes. Okay. Damn, she's cooking up the sausages. Damn, she's roasting up the glizzies. Look at that. Look at the look at the technique. Look at that. Oh my god, that glizzy generating technique. Those are sausages, right? Yeah, dude. She's roasting them. Oh man, it that looks like it's gonna spill, dude. What do <laughs> Fucking with a big ass pot. What's in that pot? <laughs> fucking, oh no. You think they use motion capture for this? Like they mo cap somebody and they're just like, ah, fucking throw it in. <laughs> what are you doing, lady? Yeah, dude, she's roasting up them glizzies. She's glizziating right now. Memories of a Treasure Hunter, Volume 5. Oh, I love lore. I didn't read it, though. I'm here to loot and pillage before we go on the adventure that we can't turn back from. 
I also cannot wait to get off this chain, this armor. The sound it makes when you run. Right. Fuck it, let's go. Yes, I have all six orbs in my position. You can actually do this game way out of order. Yes, we shall proceed. So this is like a big throwback to one of the first Dragon Quest games, like either two or three. Um, I haven't played those yet though, but this game is like a very integral. It's like a prequel. This game is actually a prequel. They tell a tale as old as Arborea itself. Or it, it, it's not a prequel, but it's tied in somehow, like they influence each other. A child <coughs> chosen by mighty Yggdrasil, one sent to mm. save us from disaster. Our friend here is not the first to be known by that name. Yeah, 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 no. yeah, 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 yeah. The first was born long, long ago in the Age of Heroes. Adric, a.k.a. Lodo. At that time, the world of Edria was beset by a being of purest darkness. A being who sought to steal the very source of life itself, the heart of Yggdrasil. And so, the World Tree marked out one among her children for greatness. Erdwin, the luminary of legend. He went forth to do battle with the Dark One. But he did not go alone. A band of heroes accompanied him. Among them, a mighty sage named Serenica. Veronica, Serena, your friend mm -hmm. here is the luminary reborn. They're twins. And together, you are the reincarnation of his companion. <sighs> As for Mordekin. I suspect that it is his darkness that your friend, the latest in the line of luminaries, was born to banish. I'm emulating his gamer neck more and more. <laughs> you must defeat him. The fate of our world depends upon it. Good luck. Let's go chop him. Whoa. <laughs> this enemy, this enemy is too strong. I need to access my gamer powers. Fucking. Get your shoulders higher than the fucking back of your head. Act the the fucking the Ida's on the Ida Bashi Zangief Randall from Recess. All right, cool. That you know the story about saving the world from the great darkness or whatever. That's cool, but this side quest though. These these side quests though. <laughs> oh, ho, ho. Okay. Super soup. Oh, I need to go up. Yeah, yeah. I need to go to the. I need to go to the spot anyway. I get down with this guy's nose. You ever... Man, if I ever speak to someone who fucking rhythmically writhes like that... Just remember, the best improvised weapon is a gun. There you get fucking cancer. Grove in there, but oh, the sick girl. Yeah, there's like a girl who has like a, some sort of incurable illness or whatever. Where is it? It's in the grove. <gasps> dogs, I love dogs. Oh my god, it's fucking adorable. <laughs> I love dogs. Look at this cartoon dog. 
doing cartoon dog shit. <sighs> Loon pillage. That's right, I'm the main fucking character, old man. That's right. Yeah, step back. Fucking luminary coming through. Ah. Loot. Pillage. Seed of sorcery? Sweet. This is to the garden, but I need to loot and pillage first. Whoa, look at this dog, dude! Oh, fucking love dogs! Cartoon dog! This cartoon dog only has three fingers. Dogs have more than three... Dogs have four claws, right? This... Yeah. This cartoon dog is, uh, some sort of de defective dog. <laughs> Out of my way, ladies. Give me this shit. Yeah. Mini metal. I might have enough to get the next piece of gear. Really, the only things that are super valuable from the mini metals are um, the schoolgirl outfits, because the schoolgirl outfits give you additional likelihood for good loot drops. So you can use them to farm seeds of uh, seeds of skill from a certain spot outside the outside the Dundrasil Castle at Endgame. That's how you get all your characters. Um, that's how you get all the all the abilities out of the trees, because. When you spec your characters, where is it? Yeah, when you spec your characters, you can't actually get all of these. The only ones who can get all of them, I think, are Veronica and Serena for lore reasons, I think. I'm not even sure Serena can get all of them. I think Veronica can. But yeah, you can't actually get all the skills. So you need to get seeds of skill to finish it. Uh huh. She needs to get some herbs. Okay. I hope you don't die of your illness before I make it back. I'm about to be there for fucking at least at least two days. It's a tree. Open these doors. Open those doors. Oh yeah, this is a uh, so. This tells the lore, right? So there's this, he uses his powers. His, I never played this game, so I can't speak to the accuracy of this. But he uses his powers. Then his powers are left over, so they lock his powers away for some reason, because he like absorbs the darkness or some shit. And then this is this game. Yeah. So if we go outside, if we go outside, even in the daytime, as long as it's not hidden by the mountain, we should be able to get a glimpse of that red star. Where the fuck is it, bro? You tell me the mountain blocked it? Am I getting blocked by a mountain, dude? Yo, the mountain is bombing me. Maybe we'll maybe we'll be able to see when we go into the fucking trees. Man, I fuck with mountains, but this mountain's making it kind of hard. But yeah, this is a uh, the star of Erdwin, aka Erdrick, aka Lodo. I think and you can you can actually see it throughout the whole game. You can actually see this. It's like a piercing red dot. Where, where, where that? It should be. It's by the. Tr there it is. Ha! That's from the picture. Fucking lo the lore, the lore, the subtle lore. They did such a good job with this game. This game is sick. Bro, 
I'm sprinting. What the f- Oh my god, I forgot about these. these it's like that- These look like that emote. <laughs> oh no. The- <laughs> These look just like that fucking emote. Uh, whoa! It's cool. It's not cool. Do I have Veronica? I need Veronica right now. Let's get Veronica. Let's get Rab. Let's get Serena. Everybody with AoE. Why don't I show you how yeah, it's we're done. blasting. We are blasting right now. Venom is Vapor? Shit. Boom! 69? Nice. Blood bonnets. That's gross. Uh, boom! Nice. Ooh! Big damage. Uh oh. She's not dead, right? She's not dead, right? Oh, ho ho! Let's go. Swoosh these fools. That's right, be gone. Wow, 1,681? Five skill points, 13 total. Do I want, what do I want? What do I want? I think I want a spec in a luminary. The pep chance is really good. Pep chance is good. I, yeah, fuck it. I'm not really worried about any of these sword techniques just yet. I have five. I need to get this. I might as well just go up this tree a little bit. I'll save it, I'll save it, I'll save it. Whoa, a dragon! Hit him with the blammy! Oh shit, she's still poison. Okay. Bow! Get over here! Ooh, not over here! There we go, there we go. Alright. I didn't want to attract any of the other enemies. An ethereal serpent with powerful eyebrows. He has capital eyebrows. Dragon Slash! Nice. Solar Rattle. Oh, I gotta hit. I gotta put up Bounce. Yeah. Bounce is so good. Bounce is so good. If you bounce the whole party and then they breath attack, they basically just kill themselves. Yeah! Probably should have healed Rab, maybe. Fuck it. Ooh, man, we are bounced. Breathe fire. I fucking dare you. Breathe fire. <laughs> Oh, I'm so ready. I'm so ready. Is the is the is the AI smart? Does it know? Is the AI smart? Does it know? Uh, I think I want a Zam. Uh, Umfo. This Dragon Slash is about to hit so hard. I think the AI is smart. I think he knows. Oh. 
219. Sexy beam damage right there. Uh, the dragon definitely knows. Hmm. Oh, wrong one, wrong one. I want regular sap. Whoa, smart AI. Damn, only my second hit hit him? Crazy. <laughs> Swoosh. Got him. Veronica wins again. Only eight hundred and two experience. Kind of gross. A campsite. Out of my way, Cyclops. I'm not gonna craft anything yet. I don't really have any resources. Uh, finna hit that save though. Always save it. Always save it twice too. If you can make two save files, make two save files. You would hate to get all the way to the car and have the milk, the gallon of milk burst all over the hot asphalt of the parking lot. Just put it in two bags. Just double bag it. Always double save. You never know when one save file could get corrupted. Uh, can I even? Whoa, Pokemon! That's a Pokemon, right? I can't get over there yet. That's late game stuff. Or is it? It looks like there's a path. It looks like there's a path for me. Ha! Fight these fucking sleeping Pokemon. That was pretty good damage. That was pretty good damage too. They're called grenades. Cause they're called grenades. Grenades. That's sick. A bunch of grenades, huh? <laughs> Murdered in cold blood. Falcon slash this fool. I want to fight one of everything to fill out the monster log, but I don't want to grind too much because that would defeat the point of playing on extra hard mode, trying to do everything under level. Hey, I can get over here. Nice. Treasure chest. What doth lie inside? A chest of treasures. I gotta get myself a chest of treasures. I gotta make like a very ornate, ridiculously gilded box. Put like a big cartoon lock on the front. That'd be sick. It's like a giant fucking video game lock. <laughs> it's like it's like a key lock. You unlock it with the key. Then there's like a combination lock. You do the combination lock. Then there's like a tump, like a rotary lock. You do the rotary lock, and then there's like a dimple key lock. You unlock that, and then there's a fucking puzzle. You saw the puzzle, and there's the fucking code. There's a digital code lock. There's like five locks all in like one big box. That'd be sick. That's where we're going, right there. We're just gonna take us up there. 
But first, we need to go over here. I get dark root, dark root garden vibes. Man, I wish I could climb this fast in full plate armor. That'd be sick. The strength. I mean, he is the main character, right? He's also a strength build. An urn of Saint's Ashes. Out of my way, fella. A Mastodon. Fragrant gas. Alright. My spellcasters have decided to take a nap. I hope this helps. Okay. Rab slept through that, huh? No, he woke up. Okay, he woke up. Yeah. Yo, what's up, Breezy? I see you, man. What's good? Hmm. I am, in fact, heavy chillin'. I hope you are having an excellent Friday. Or Saturday. It could be Saturday, depending on where, you, where, you, where you're at. Oh, I'm already accelerated. For some reason, I thought it said one. Alright, what do I got? Only Ozone? This game is super good. I heavily recommend it. Especially if it's on sale. This game is so worth it. This game is like three... It's like two to three games in this game. It's like so good. This is super good. You played Dragon Quest X? I've played uh, eight and eleven. I played Dragon Quest Heroes, <laughs> but that's not really a Dragon Quest game. And then I've played um, Dragon Quest One. Fucking love Dragon Quest. This game is sick. Put this fool down. Nice. This is what I came up here for. Glimmer grass. Man, that was kind of crappy loot. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Right. Sprinting. So I'm playing with Draconian Quest on. I'm playing with Draconian Quest on, and I have it set to where you cannot flee from combat, all the enemies are extra powerful, and you don't get experience for fighting low-level enemies. On top of that, I'm intentionally only trying to fight one type of each enemy uh, just to get them in the monster log so that... I do the boss fights under level. So I'm playing at like challenge mode. Please, please. Okay. <laughs> please don't kill Veronica. I think. I think this is still my most damaging AoE. My lineup is cooked. She's dead. She's so dead. She's not dead. We're living out here. Oh fuck it, dude. I'm all I'm I'm all offense. The best the best defense is is offense. Dragon Quest is grindy a little bit. Okay. A little bit. If you if you're smart about it, the main thing you, the main thing with Draconian Quest on is you have to worry about crafting gear. So in this game, you can craft items and you can improve items. And it's just really important to make sure you have good gear. If you have good gear, it's not really a problem. 
Uh, can she even buy anything for five points? Am I just gonna waste waste points here? Can Rab get anything? No. All this is really expensive. Silvando. I need to get these. I need to save up and get these, but I want this. Sometimes when you unlock those little hidden panels, you get a bonus. You get bonus points. Out of my way, creatures. Miss playing 10. This game is great. I highly recommend it. Honestly, this game is worth full price. Like this this is a this game is definitely worth $60. The Jowler. Uh, Falcon Slash? Should've used my pet power and out of it. Nice. One of these days I'm gonna redo this lineup and I'm not gonna put the squishy characters in front. One of these days. The beady eyes on this thing. This is what Zangief mains look like in real life. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. That's what Mika mains look like in real life. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Let's adjust the lineup before we get ourselves into trouble here. I'm going for optimal damage right now. This is I need the optimal damage lineup. All right, the optimal. I think I could put in Eric. No, this is the optimal damage lineup right here. Let's see, out of my way, fools! Out of my way. No, I don't want to go that way yet. There's some side quests I need to do here. Immaculate balance. I'm the main character of the story. Well, don't turn around. Oh, you showing? He's just showing off. All right, all right. Oh my fucking god, dude! I forgot about this part. This is the part with the Sonic OC. Deviant ass fucking level. Deviant art ass level. Oh my god. Oh, it's like that. You came to the wrong fucking neighborhood. The the Sonic OC, man. You know, you, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> fucking sexy beam, dude. This is optimal damage. That's the best attack in the game right there. Sexy beam is the best attack in the game because it, it avoids resistances. So, like, certain enemies will have certain levels of resistance to uh, different attacks. Like, uh, some enemies are more resistant to fire attacks. Some enemies have high armor. Sexy Beam always avoids the resistances. So, it always just hits. Just max damage. Also, it's really easy to get really high charm early. So, Jade can, like, carry you through a bunch of the early fights just by fucking, you know, TOSing the, TOSing the stream. Out of my way. Ooh, they're chasing me down. I forget where the side quest is. <gasps> Treasure chest. Open this shit. Nice. Oh! I cannot wait to get rid of this plate armor. Uh, I think I want to go this way. Where is the side quest? Is it over here? It's somewhere. It looks sick. Yeah, but if you if you listen carefully, the sound you make when you run. I don't know. I don't get. I don't like the. Gen 
I don't like the jangling. <laughs> Falcon Slash. Infanticore or the fruity succubat? I'm going with the succubat. It's a succubus that's also a bat. Kind of gross. Uh, buff? He's a bat. Oh shit, she's about to hit. Oh man, somebody's getting blasted. Whoop, whoop. It's the sound of the beast. Whoop, whoop. Fucking sexy beam police. Oh my god. That's optimal. Don't look at me like that. <laughs> Don't look at me like that. That's optimal. That was optimal damage. This is the best attack in the game, man. At, at least she's not wearing the bunny suit. Even Persona doesn't have sexy beam. <laughs> uh, Fridza? Persona, Persona has to have something. You can't have a JRPG without something. We win again. We do. Oh yeah, it has the chariot. <laughs> Persona has the chariot dick. <laughs> oh my god. I thought it is the person is the one of the people who make Persona, is that like one of those same people who do Shin Megami Tensei or whatever? Like the artists. Honestly, I don't really know about Persona. I'm about to fight this stump. Damn, stump champs? I thought they were stump chumps. Wait till she gets the AoE. She gets an AoE sexy beam. At least she's not wearing the bunny suit anymore. Look at that shit. Look, that's the literally the best attack in the game. It's the best attack in the game. It only costs 12 mana too. She could do like 100 of them. You could put, you get an item that he, uh, Serena has it on. You get an item that re regens your um, your mana whenever you take a turn. Bro, don't you dare! Oh my God! You put them to sleep? He did. I should have just hit her to wake her up. You can attack your allies in certain situations. Bruh. Come on, wake up! Wake up now! Oh shit. Everybody slept. Everybody is slept. Alright, well, fucking hands off. Just wait. Does this game have the same mechanic as 10 where you can psych up? So instead of, um, instead of psych up, this has pep, right? In the Japanese version, it's called the zone. Um, so basically there's a bunch of hidden conditions that can cause your character to get in the zone. And uh, you have a percentage chance to get in the zone on your turn. So you turn blue, it increases all of your attributes. Um, and it gives you access to special attacks. Uh, if you have multiple people, um, if you have multiple people in the zone, it gives you access to special attacks. So like, uh, if we look at the pep powers, depending on who is pepped up in the party. Oh yeah, Manicore. Oh boy, get me TOS right there. <laughs> Woo. Uh, Depending on who's pepped up in the party, you get different special techniques. Some of them are really good. Like, Hallelujah is super good. Um, you want to do... You want to do... Uh, no, you don't want to do Hallelujah. What's it called? It's called... Um, Electrolyte. Electrolyte is the, is the really good one. <laughs> it's 
dragging a wagon, dude. He's got the ghetto booty. They made a song about him. I'm really looking for this side quest, though. Is it back here? It might be up another level. That was a really good... Those, that's an end game crafting item. Out of my way, you dog, lion, cat, bat, creature. I said step aside. About to jump down these mushrooms. Oh my... The invisible wall. Oh. Immaculate balance. Nice. I think I just gotta go to the campsite. I think maybe one of them might be under the waterfall. Is there a waterfall somewhere? Maybe under here. I don't think I can get down there. Is this the way? Yo, this is not the way. Bro, did I just go to I Oh no! I went the wrong way. Alright. I took physical damage from that. I just fucking ran ran all this way for no reason. I got schmixed. Yeah, dude. That hyperscape game, I don't know. I saw it. It looks interesting. It's like a super sped up BR. It's like a... I don't know. Twitch sends me all these emails about the games. Like, oh, we've got this new hyperscape game. It's a promotion. You know, give your subscribers emoji. Fucking. It's like super. I'm, I'm interested in it because it's like super Twitch integrated. Like, the chat room can do shit to like change the match for everybody. I think that's kind of crazy. Blast. Yeah, it's like Twitch integrated. This move is too good. Ah, oh, yes, these enemies are jobbers. I forgot. They're just like friendly little woodland creatures who are just gonna get incinerated and a fucking. just immolated. <laughs> just. four adventurers come across and die. <laughs> Bring death and destruction everywhere we go. We loot, we pillage, we destroy. We're the saviors of the world. Save the world through violence. <laughs> there a way to talk our way out of this? I'm not wasting mana on you. No mercy. <laughs> Look at those cold eyes. The eyes of a killer. Things are looking up. Ooh, 11? I might be able to buy something with 11. Let's see. Pep power up. This is good. But I want the ch pep chance. The pep chance is more valuable. What, what good is having additional power when you're not pepped? I'd rather be pep up more often. I wish they called it the zone in English. Like, pep is so whack. Zone is way cooler. Oh shit, a dragon? About to, about to sneak up on this dragon. I'm about to hit him with the blammy. Bow, drive by. Bow, get over here. Yeah. Oh, I have to fight the stump first, elsewise he's gonna put us to sleep. Okay, I thought that was going to be really bad. <laughs> okay, it's kind of bad. <laughs> Stump chomp. Ow. And 
Nice. It's actually a crossbow, but, you know, it makes a gunshot sound. Fucking the blammy. Let's pull out the gat and blast him. Hit him with the tiger shotgun. He's already oomphed. What can I do? I can sap. Ooh, this next dragon slash is about to hit for a grip. It's about to do so much damage. Nice try, Buster, but we have high defensive values. Damn! He, he's, he's mad. He's pissed. That dragon slash was lit. That's what the kids say, right? They say lit. Right? Like... My dragon slash was lit AF in my Drusillian drip. Right? That's what the kids say. I'm hip. <laughs> oh, no. Alright, which way am I going? Don't get turned around. I'm going this way. Oh, we have to stop at the campsite to... Uh, ponder the meaning of life. Trudging up hills is playing havoc with my old bones. Oh, well, don't tire yourself out, darling. We all want to be bright eyed and bushy tailed for our big day. Come on, let's call it a night, huh? Shout out to Rab. Rab is my spirit animal. Oh. <laughs> So, we'll finally be going up to Yggdrasil tomorrow. I can't help feeling a little nervous. Okay. It's a big ass tree. Serena, why don't you play that song? You know, the one you always used to play when we were children. Hmm. Did they voice this? I forget. Oh no, they didn't. Yggdrasil looks so magical at night. It's strange to think that each of our lives is a leaf on one of those branches. Hmm. Yeah. And it's really like the old man said. There's some kind of heart in there that all life comes from. Shit, yes. the lore. When someone dies, their leaf withers and falls, and their soul returns to the heart. When someone is born, a new bud blooms on one of the branches. I suppose it won't be long now until we finally face Mordigan. Do you think if we can beat him, my father will go back to how he once was? Oh. You play an instrument too, Veronica? Huh? Mm -mm. No. The high priest gave it to me. He said it would help us. It belonged to our ancestor, Serenica. She left it behind in Arborea, apparently. I won't, I won't spoil. Well, I, I won't don't spoil know it. The rest of you, but I'm hooked. What do you say we all get some beauty sleep? Let's get some beauty. Oh, they have a tent. I was about to say, they're just about to sleep in the fucking dirt. <laughs> Veronica? Hmm? We were born at the same time. So our leaves bloomed at the same time, didn't they? Do you think they'll fall at the same time, too? 
Hmm, I don't know. You've always been a bit slow, to be honest. That's fucked up. That was cold. That was cold. Damn. I hope they do. <laughs> that was big bully mode, dude. That was bully mode as shit, dude. Oh my god. Sister, do you ever ponder our mortality? Then she fucking said, You're stupid, and rolled over and went to sleep. <laughs> oh no. That was fucking cold. Alright, I've gathered the six magic dragon balls. I'm here to summon the dragon. Well, there's no mistaking it. This is the altar. This is the altar. Ah, you're not wrong there. Go on, laddie. Get the orbs out. Let's see what happens, shall we? So cool. Oh. Track to cost the earth for this. Oh shit, Magic the Gathering? Could you imagine? It's like, all right, we fought through all these battles, these hardships, all of this terrible stuff. We struggled to get the path up to the tree. We unlocked the path, and then you're like, oh, we're finally here. We climbed a mountain. We're exhausted. It's oh. beautiful. And then you put the you put all the keys in place. And instead of just making like a regular bridge, it's like a it's, it's a it's a goddamn Hot Wheels track. What is this? <laughs> like, like oh man, poor Rab. Rab. On, we better not keep Yggdrasil waiting. I feel bad. I feel so bad for Rab. Dude, they have to go through a. F <laughs> oh man. He'll make it. Game is so cool. I feel so bad for Rab. I can't believe they had to walk up a goddamn Hot Wheels track. That was crazy. Oh, yes. The W key. It calls my name. I think there's a treasure here? Yeah. So each one of these leaves is the essence of a living being on the planet below. Huh. Oh, so cool. Can I see down below? Hold up. This game is like screenshot. This game is wallpaper material all over the place. I don't think I can see down to the below from here. There's another spot I think you can see down though. You can see like almost the whole map. Whoa. Is that a, a sword? Bro, it's a sword. It's the sword of light. So 
This is the heart of Yggdrasil. Yeah. It's bigger than I thought it would be. Just chilling. Just, you know. So we, um... Rab comes up the mountain, right? And Rab's an old man. So we reach the campsite, and Rab is like, Oh, all of that climbing. It's doing terrible things to my old, decrepit frame. Friends, please stop. And Silvando is like, Oh, yeah, my sympathy's mad high, dude. I got social intelligence. I'm fucking Silvando. Silvando's like, Hey, let's take a nap. So everybody goes to take a nap. And then we summon the bridge to the tree, right? And it's a fucking Hot Wheels track. Like, it's not just like a bridge from point A to B. It's like loops and shit. And Rab has to climb it again. <laughs> It's like it's like 2000 feet in the sky. <laughs> it's the source of all life. It's not exactly I feel so small, bad for Rab. It? It's so fascinating. I'm sort of scared, but I want to touch it. I want to touch it. Oh man, RPG. Rab is actually, oh. Rab is actually sick. Ow. Well, that's not very nice. The naughty thing gave me a shock. I and so it should. I doubt the world tree would let any but the one who bears her mark near her holiest of holies. The holiest of holies. All right, Rab. Rab is. A man of culture. Only he can wield the weapon destined to dispel the darkness. The sword of light. Now, Maddy, it's time to reach into the heart of Yggdrasil and claim your birthright. Only you can do it. Only you can save our world. Oh, I think there's going to be a... I'm wearing the wrong armor. Base games, let's just let it like chilling. I don't know, dude. I'm not, I don't know if I'm chilling. <laughs> I got back blasted. I got back blasted. <gasps> Fucking Jasper. Damn you, Jasper. How did you find us? Find you. <laughs> Did you witless vermin not realize I was following you all along? I, w I wouldn't put it past the developers of this game to verily, very, very cleverly insert him into the levels. I wonder if it's possible to look around and find Jasper as he follows you. I don't know. I don't know. I feel like that might not be a thing. This game has a lot of small details, though. Damn, Kung Fu action? Yo, Common Rider kick? Shit. What was that? It's anime. Now, now, princess. Such boorish behavior hardly befits one of your station. Do you not see that you are utterly powerless to stop me? <laughs> An orb of darkness. Tremble with gratitude? Your sacrifice shall pave the way for my ascent to glory. I don't know if I feel... I'm not, I'm not feeling this, Jasper. Come, Luminary. All of you, on your feet. The tree of life the shall tree be your place of, life. of death. All right. 
Jasper the Jobber, huh? Alright, uh... You know what, let me, uh... I think you can... I know you can win all the fights. But I don't know if you can win it like this. Let's try it. Dude, do I care prayer? Do I care prayer? I think it... What do I do? I think I have sword stance. Take it easy. Then I'm gonna do... Right as rain. Oh, I should have. I should have used. He's about to run out. Fuck. I can still care for. Yo, beam this fool. Blast him. Nani? Nani? Six a beam. He avoided. He resisted my sexy beam. Uh-oh. Uh-uh. Sword stance, though. He resisted the sexy beam. He just pirates it. He doesn't. He just pirates it illegally. He doesn't buy his only pants. <laughs> oh no, Jasper! All right, I'm about to just do ozone because. If he's gonna avoid the beam, if he's gonna avoid the beam, I guess I defend. I don't know if that runs out. I don't know if that runs out. to accelerate again. A frosty smile. <laughs> okay, bro. What about uh can I can I even hit him? No, 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 no. no. So I'm just defense, defensing. Ain't got nothing, ain't, ain't nothing wrong with a little bit of a little bit of the old defender Ruski. Can't sexy beam him. What am I even doing then? Can I hit him with the old... You know. You know. It's only 9.99. Damn. <laughs> Didn't work. <laughs> oh, shit. Sexy beam doesn't fail. <laughs> Oh shit. All right, we got bodied. We got bodied. Can't get through that aura. What what is it? It's a power like a witch we've never seen. Could he be surely not. Oh. Yo, I'm about to grab those ankles, Jasper. You lucky, you lucky I was asleep. You lucky I was asleep, bro. About to grab them ankles. Yo, don't you dare. He dares. Oh, shit. <laughs> so this is the heart of Yggdrasil. Whosoever controls it, controls the world. Get lucky I'm asleep. 
Not one step further, Jasper. Yo, let's go, Hendrick. Let's go, Hendrick. Yeah, that's right, dude. Well, Honor and justice. Hendrick is sick. Sire. He is no longer himself. The darkness has him entirely in its thrall. The darkness. How long he has deceived that K us, was I capital. do not know, but deceive us he has. Jasper is a traitor to Heliodor and to the world. <laughs> Confess, scoundrel. Just how cheaply did you sell your soul? Oh, damn. On second thought, spare me your wretched excuses. In the name and presence of his majesty, I pronounce you guilty. Prepare to face your punishment. Hmm. Oh, he's about to cut him. You have served me well, Hendrik. It's a. Uh, it was a fucking setup. Your, your, your Majesty, what is the meaning of this? It was a fucking setup. Shit. It's Piccolo's older, edgier brother. Mordigan. My dear Jasper, it seems you have snared us a luminary. Very impressive. It is an honor to serve you, as always. Bum, 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 bum. Yo, he might be a good guy, you don't know. <laughs> look at look at the behold his visage. You look like a good guy? He don't look I don't know, man. It's not a phase, mom. I'll be into punk rock forever. Purple lipstick? Heavy eyeshadow? Red mohawk? Mordigan all along. Hmm. Oh no. Hey, 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 hey. No touch. My power. No touch. And soon your power will belong to me. Damn, dude. <laughs> you think? You think? Uh-oh. This is the power of the luminary. The key that unlocks Yggdrasil's heart. You got Ivan Ooze looking head ass, evil ass, soul stealing head ass. Man, get off that sword, bro. Oh my god. Avenues looking at us. And this blade is the fabled sword of light. Not very fitting for the Lord. This cutscene is kind of sick, though. The sword of light. What has he done? Almighty Yggdrasil, source of all life. Damn, he's getting bigger.
game is hella sick. This is about less than halfway through, I think. In fact, like to save the game. I forgot to turn in the side quests. Uh oh. Uh oh. We missed two side quests. I think I'll be able to go back and get them at the end, end, end of the game. Shit. Uh, seems checks out. Full plate armor. Just sinking. That's about right. <sighs> Flashback? What's the matter, dearie? Can't you sleep? <laughs> No, Damn voiced too. <laughs> I don't have those psychopathic grunts anymore. <laughs> still upset about your little fight with Gemma, eh? She started it. She hit me for no reason. All I did was draw eyebrows on Sandy. <laughs> Look at this great big lump she's given me. I see it. Hmm. And I saw the one on her head, too. You gave her that, didn't you? Yeah. Now you listen to me, my lad. There'll be plenty of times in your life when people upset you and you feel like lashing out. But no matter how much it hurts, and no matter how much you want to hurt them back, you don't go looking for revenge. You do what's right. Yeah, I see. This is this is my mom, right? But like, I'm about to get revenge on this Mortagon guy, dude. <laughs> what should I do? Oh man. Why well, you talk to her? Of course, you big silly. About to ignore this Ask advice. <laughs> she was feeling and why she did what she did. Try to see things from her point of view. Once you've done that, the rest is easy. You just smile and hold out your hand. <laughs> That's my boy. Now, time for bed. I'm not tired. I don't want to go to bed. Night, night, Mum. About to get up right away. Night, night, son. Don't you worry about a thing now. It'll all be all right in the morning. If I was a, a superior Twitch actor, I would sing this song. But I'm not about to. have scoured the four corners Bro. of the world but the luminary is nowhere to be found about to hit the uh hit the karaoke stream he is dead then good if that is the case then this world is mine Shit. Shark Tank? Ooh ha ha. Shark Tank. Ooh ha. -ha. Hmm. 
reincarnated me as a fucking fish, bro. <laughs> ah. Shark bait. Ooh, ha, ha. Oh. This is, uh, the mighty form of the savior of the world, the main character of the story. <laughs> All right, but before I go exploring, got loot and pillage. It's a merman. I couldn't have been a merman. Oh, you're awake. You're alert. You're alive. <laughs> so fish got a mailbag. So I could deliver all these ass whoopings to these dark dudes who turn me into. Oh, I'm about to go get the party back. I'm about the the gang is about to get it all together. I'm about to go beat Mortigan up. Man, let me. My quests, though, bro. Oh, my quests, my side quests. I can't finish them. Maybe I'll be able to go back. I need to go see the queen, right? Oh, wait. I can finally talk to the shark. Just got to let myself uh, fall down. Yeah. What's good, bro? I heard... Oh, you won't give me the goods? Hmm. Seems like some sort of battle armor so this game the character designs and like the and some of the environmental design is done by a Toriyama, right all the Dragon Quest games are a Toriyama. so Toriyama is notorious for reusing designs like Tor Toriyama has like five designs and he just mix and matches them so if you look carefully Every character in this game is just like a Dragon Ball character with like different eyes or different hair. Like, <laughs> oh man. Oh, I can get over here now. I can swim to places where I could not before. Bro, you tell me I can't fit? You tell me I. <laughs> My immersion. Take me to the top. Damn, I have little fish legs? I see it now. It's like little fish legs. Like a little fish man. Alright. Out of my way, mermaid. Got official business. Amazing chest ahead. The Dark Souls reference. You say our guest has finally recovered from his wounds? Then let us expedite the plan. It must be done, and soon. Your Majesty. Don't fear for me. I'm not done yet. Until my work is finished, I'll find the strength to carry on. I shall not be diminished. All the merwomen talk in poems only. Ah, there you are, old friend. <laughs> or should I say, new fish? Hmm. You make a finer flounder than I'd ever dared to wish. When first my subjects brought you here, it gave me such a shock. To 
see you bruised and broken like a ship wrecked on the rocks. The Lord of Shadows thinks you dead. The sea swarms with his spies. Swarms with spies. I changed you to this fishy form to hide you from his eyes. Many troubled months have come and gone since your arrival. As you slept, my healers strove to safeguard your survival. You cannot know how glad mm. I am to see you fully healed. But soon the spell will fade, and you must once more take the field. I have a plan to see you safe. That's all I've ever wished. If all goes well, you'll soon know what it feels like to be fished. I'm gonna get fished? Forgive my haste. These strange events must take you by surprise. You have so many questions. I can see it in your eyes. I saw you battle bravely by the World Tree's holy heart. I saw the Lord of Shadows tear your fellowship apart. I saw you strive to fell the fiend, and how your plans were vexed. When you're ready, follow me to see what happened next. I'm about to about to steal that. That's a ten point vocab word. Vexed? I'm about to I'm about to start saying vexed. Chambers, bro. Oh, this is where she has the uh, crystal ball. Cap <laughs> Capcom got, go got me vexed. Yeah, you can use that on the vocab test. <laughs> the private of the oh queen my beneath God. the waves. Behold the pearl of wisdom. The pearl of wisdom. The ocean's daughters. It lets its bearer Look. view the world through any drop of water. I've summoned up a thunderstorm to saturate the ground. Now, let's ascend into the rain and take a look around. Wake up as a fish, Whenever immediately you're scry you're through the, the pearl. see simultaneously through it's all waters. Can you imagine? This, this has got to be this fucking tripping balls, dude. I'm a fish. Why can I see literally everything? Ah, oh. fucking brain overload. You could say it. You could even say it would be vexing. Uh. Man, Dude, that tree was kind of sick, man. The land of Adria is now a ravaged shell. When Mordigan destroyed its heart, the holy world tree fell. Yo, thanks for hanging out, Breezy. I see you, man. You have a great. I hope have the best possible Friday afternoon or Saturday morning you can have, man. Thanks for hanging out. Burning boulders fell to Burning earth and pulverized the land. Mountains, Mountains cracked, and realms were racked at his unholy hand. Yo, I fuck with mountains. I fuck with mountains. There's a mountain on my t-shirt! Fuck with mountains. In one fell swoop, the Lord of Shadows ended countless lives. The lucky few who rode the storm out struggled to survive. Their days are filled with desperation, misery, and tears. I mm. see them quake and tremble, but I cannot calm their fears. Oh no, it's my hometown.
Are they dead or sleeping? They better not be dead. The spirit of a fish. Please. Well, the fish eye Help shot. But from the perspective of the fish, they use the fish eye lens? No way. <laughs> oh shit. It's your boy, Hendrick. Is that spoilers? Hendrick is cool. are gone. Our families and friends too. All we have left is mm. our lives. We can't just sit down and die. We have to keep walking. We have to keep following the hero. They say he's built a fortress south of Heliodor. If we can make our way there, we'll be safe. <gasps> <gasps> Oh no, it's the maid lady from uh Gondolia. Okay. This hero guy won't let us down. Once we get to the last bastion, everything will be fine. You'll see. A few more short steps lead from darkness into dawn. Safe haven awaits. That guy's from Hodo. That was a haiku. Haiku. <sighs> the black depths of despair a spark of light still shines a man who gives the people hope in these benighted times yet that light too shall soon succumb mm. to evil's ceaseless claim only you can take that spark and kindle it to flame I gotta come up with the alley-oop for Hendrick huh enemies turned friends or friend to me Drusil has crashed to earth her light has disappeared. In her place, the Lord of Shadows, Citadel of Fear. Citadel of Fear. He took the sacred world tree's power and now makes it his own. Foul Mordigan commands the world from his unholy throne. His forces seek to steal the souls of every last survivor. His flying servants sweep the skies. The seas swarm with his divers. The fiend that seeks to devastate my nation. Another one of Mordigan's detestable creations. I've cast a spell to hold him back, but need it to be stronger. The barrier's at breaking point and cannot last much longer. I'd hoped that I could save my realm. Hmm. It was a foolish notion. Compared to his, my strength is but a raindrop in the ocean. Ere long, the barrier will fall and Nautica will too. Oh. Marauding beasts may take my life, but they shall not take you. Our time grows short. I fear my kingdom's race is nearly run. My place is with my subjects now. We face our fate as one. Oh, the barrier is going to break. Uh, oops. I need to go down. There we go. I'll be real. The water, the wa the movement in the water, a little rough. A little rough. You also move a little bit slowly. This song, though? This song, though?
Going down. Don't fish have like a special bladder? Like, don't they have like a unique thing that lets them absorb more water or expel water to float? How curious you are, my friend. Mm. I showed you fearful sights, and yet those wide and watery eyes still gleam with limpid light. Limpid. That's another ten point vocab word. Stealing that one. Limpid? Tragedy have followed you since birth. Cruel fate's dark plan has stalked you to the corners of the earth. And yet you've weathered every blow, prevailed against all strife. You've brushed with death a thousand times, yet still you have your life. It is the will of Yggdrasil that you are still alive. It is your fate to save this world. For this, you must survive. If you think about the lore of this game, right? like the world building so there's all the land dwelling creatures and like semi-sentient beasts and humans and stuff right and they, they all are familiar with this big magic tree like they worship the tree and everything like uh you know they're familiar with trees because they live on the land with dirt and grass and trees and shit like that right but these, it must even be more strange, like even more alien to the fish people because they don't live around trees. So like Yggdrasil and the whole concept of that and leaves and the, the heart of Yggdrasil and the leaves growing and falling and stuff, that's got to be so much weirder to them than it is for the terrestrial people. The merfolk are like the elves of this kind of fantasy world. Let the light shine on the world again. Find the fading sparks of hope and kindle them to flame. You'll find the sparks I speak of here and there throughout the land. They are the former members of your staunch and stalwart band. The fire within their hearts will light the path that you must tread. Find your friends and bring an end to this dark age of dread. Aye, aye. Let's do it. While the luminary lives, there's hope for people still. You cannot fail. You must prevail. It is the world tree's will. <laughs> Beware! The barrier shakes and breaks! Shakes and breaks! The barrier. The Lord of Shadows followers give fond farewell short shrift. I had so much to tell you, but it seems I must be swift. Damn the staff. Do not lose heart. Do not look back until your time is through. She said finish. She said don't stop till it's done. Remember, you're the luminary. We believe in you. Of teeth. Give your lives to the Lord of Shadows. You know, there's, there's an interesting. I don't know if it's just me, but all of those mermen, they look like airplanes. I don't know. There's like a some, some sort of some sort of message here. I'm missing. Am I reading into it too much? Man, I love those shots. Like the speed ramp shots where like two people cross each other. It's like, and it speed ramps back up. That's so sick. That is really cool. I've got to swim. Oh yeah, I gotta get fished. Mmm, worms. 
Is that a worm? No, it's a prawn. Mmm, prawns. John soaked himself a big one. Could it be the legendary man in mackerel? mackerel? Let's reel him in and find out. <laughs> Fish up a whole, a whole grown ass man. Yes, I caught something. I actually caught something. Blue John's gonna eat tonight. I feel so bad for this guy. You know, the whole world is like this desolate wasteland of death and destruction. It's like constantly dark. It rains fire and shit. And he's finally got something to eat. And uh, nope. Maybe there is some good in this forsaken world after all. I feel so bad for this guy. Full plate armor. Chilling. <laughs> Sup, bro? Who, who, who the heck are you? And what are you doing on the end of my hook? I'm here to save the world. I don't care how hungry you are. You don't go pinching the bait off another man's line. About that. Hey, now. Don't cry, sonny. My friends. They're out there. I have to go save them. I don't know what's got you sniffling, but it must be something serious. So listen. Damn. Blue John's gonna help you out. We fisher folk have gotta look after each other, ain't we? You can stay the night in my hut. There's none too many safe places left in this rotten world. Hmm. But it'll do you for a day or two. A day or two? When you're ready, you're gonna head over to the last bastion. They'll see you, right? The fella running the place is a bony Fido hero. Bona Fido. Right, now that's decided. Let's head for sure. Hold on tight, lad. Things are about to get choppy. Damn, you got a power you got a power engine? Oh. No, he's just swole. Alright. That was sick. The world is all darkness and gloom. Doom, bro. Ah. I don't like it. Skeletons walking around. Spooky. Uh, there, so you finally roused yourself from your slumbers, eh? <laughs> Excuse me. Blue John and say good morning. But there ain't no morning to speak of these days. You had not noticed. Why, we've seen nothing but dark sky since the day of the disaster. Just look at the state of it. Too spooky. I don't fuck with spooky games, there man. This game's getting spooky. Booming, rumbling. Got a... And then great gouts of blackness started billowing up from gotta the fix castle this. over in Heliodor. Since then, nothing been right. Excuse me. That was the last time any of us saw the sun. Birds, though? That ain't good. We better hide and fast. Oh, not those birds. Those are bad birds. I've been news birds. That was a close one. Them hmm. monsters started pouring out of Heliodor Castle about the same time as the blackness. Rotters seem to think they own the place. They've hmm. never come so near before, though. They'll be looking for food, I'll warrant. And there Blue John was, thinking he'd found himself a safe spot. Listen, uh, seems the victuals round these parts <laughs> are set to get mighty scarce. I hate to send you packing, Sonny, but I reckon you'd best be on your way. Damn, kick me out before I even get to stay the night? You'll be safer over at the last bastion, anyhow. Go on and get yourself over there before the monsters spot you. That hero feller will look after you, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. He's a good in that one. A spark of hope in these dark old times. 
Steer a course due west until you hit Cobblestone Falls. The last bastion lies just beyond. Just beyond. Oh, you go now, sonny. It's my old whole town. All right. Here's a strat. I think that's an excellent spot to save the game. So save, we must. Always double save. You would never, ever want one of your save files to be corrupted and not have a backup. That would just be terrible. Always save twice. Okay. Alright. In addition to the addition of an additional save spot, I do believe that for me today, that is it. That is the end of the stream. Shout out to everybody who came to hang out. I really appreciate you guys. Shout out to the people who followed. I appreciate those. Shout outs to shout outs. It's got like I say it every time, but I really do appreciate all people who came to hang out. You guys are super cool. Um, I stream on Wednesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays, starting at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Usually go till about five. Sometimes a little bit longer. Sometimes a little bit shorter. And sometimes in between those days, there's a surprise stream. Um, on Wednesdays, I do Street Fighter stuff. A lot of education. A lot of like analysis educational stuff tutorial stuff street fighter pretend big brain stuff street fighter stuff um on thursdays it's just you know fighting games i try to play a different fighting game every week just to explore the genre you know still pretend big brain but it's it's not street fighter and on fridays we kind of just do whatever uh, i've been playing a lot of dragon quest uh, slowly chipping our way through dragon quest 11 this game is amazing um I may or may not be back later today. We might try to make more progress in this game. Who knows? Uh, but that's it for me today. Shout out to everybody who came to hang out. Really appreciate you guys. Have the best possible morning, night, evening, day, afternoon. I don't know. Far, far sight into the future from the past or, you know, time travel backwards if you somehow access the Terminator technology. Whatever it may be, have the best possible time you can have. I will catch you guys later.